looks even. Why are you up top? Okay. Cause so, I'm gonna guys, quiet on set. Yeah, it's, it's part of our intro. It's a good idea. Quiet on set. Okay, Mimo audio up. Uh, not yet. Mimo audio up. Welcome back to Infinity News. You're joined here with the host. I'm Olivia. I'm Waylon. <laughs> I'm Caro. And here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the next Super Bowl will be taking place in Atlanta, and the headlining act of the halftime show is now reportedly decided. Rihanna and Cardi B both turned down offers to perform in support of Colin Kaepernick's activism against racism in the NFL. Cardi B specifically said she would not perform until Kaepernick is rehired. Sick. Maroon 5, however, had no problems with accepting the NFL's offer. Truly the most revolutionary, generation-defining band of, uh, of, of our generation, I guess. Yeah, put them Maroon on stage. Maroon 5, They can speak for all the people. Yeah. Critics, but uh, critics have condemned this decision as a failure to represent the rich historical, uh, the rich musical history and culture of hip hop in Atlanta, especially when the organization is under protest for racism. For the NFL, Maroon 5 seems like a safe choice, being a mostly white pop group that sings about romance and relationships. But if they all end up walking on stage with Kaepernick and Marshawn Lynch jerseys, we will be pleasantly surprised. Maybe yeah. they can all get like pickle face tattoos or you know something different just something, just something so they're not just a, a nothing mm -hmm. they're just a nothingness wash. to like blah, 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 yeah. wash yeah. wash nothingness and fun and money over everyone's face yeah gosh damn maroon five now for some news that's not about maroon five Ooh, how exciting And now we, we bring you a bit of world news. Yeah. This week we are discussing Rus Russian oligarch Oleg Deripaska and how he is potentially escaping U.S. economic sanctions. To put things in context, the U.S. put sanctions on oligarchs close to Vladimir Putin as punishment for Russian interference in the 2016 election. This ended up placing the oligarch Deripaska into a bit of a pickle. So who really is this guy? Well, aside from running the world's second largest aluminum company, he's also believed by many to be involved with Russian organized crime and is currently trying to earn respect in the West. Because of the sanctions providing difficulty for his aluminum company, he has been fighting viciously against the sanctions placed on him. And he seems to have been succeeding. In recent months, his company won multiple postponements from the Treasury Department. Now that the Trump administration's deadline towards making their final decision approaches closer, there is the chance that Mr. Deripaska could avoid sanctions entirely. The sanctions that he could sneak himself out of including his assets being include his assets being frozen, being banned from travel to the US and having no business with American companies. Could this unfortunate oligarch could this old oligarch reveal himself, relieve himself of the pickle that he's in? We'll just have to wait and see. See, I don't know about you, but I personally don't know of a way to de-pickle a pickle. Honestly, it's <sighs> same. Because vinegar is like very overpowering. Yeah, and the salt, like once it's in there, it gets in all the pockets, it gets in all the nooks, it like sucks up all the water. I mean, you could just like throw a bunch of money at it, like this guy over here, you know, maybe. Hmm. But what if instead of putting it in a salty thing, we put it in a sweet thing to counteract the salty thing? Ooh. But then it'd be sweet pickles, and but that's then if not we put dill it in pickles. Water, it's it's sweet, sweet and salty, salty pickles. I think, do we have to de pickle the pickle, or can we make it into a. Oh, let's call it a new thing! A new uh, thing? A new thing. A, a, a swickle? A swickle? Okay, so sweet pickle? Sweet a swickle? pickle is already a thing. But we're talking about de pickling a pickle like an evil Russian oligarch. Hmm. Yeah, we I need don't know to, how to do that. We need to stick to the point. Yeah. I know. How do you think the evil Russian oligarch would de pickle a pickle? Throw a bunch of money at it. I <laughs> mean, this is, I don't know, this is just like the perfect example of just rich people avoiding like the rule of law, you know? Well, let me because, tell you something about this whole how do we de pickle. 
Let me tell you, Detective Pikachu is on the case. Ooh. The surprising reveal trailer with Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu is set to come out this May. And Justice Smith is the protagonist. It's going to be a wild, gritty, funky, grungy wonder of a thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to electrocute us all. Obviously. I don't I think if you threw money at a pickle, you would get pickled money. <laughs> Okay. Maybe electrocution could do it. What happens if you electrocute a pickle? Find out at home. Don't ask your <sighs> parents before doing anything. Yeah. They'll be fine with it. Just don't make a mess. But with Pikachu, um, <laughs> um, I've heard that a lot of people are saying, like, they, they close their eyes and they hear Deadpool while mm. watching the Pikachu trailer. Who, who is Ryan Reynolds? He's I, Deadpool, and Deadpool. he was that really bad green uh, uh, superhero. Okay. Isn't he He's red? He's married to Blake Lively. I haven't I seen don't Deadpool. Know who any of those? If you like lined up like a bunch of just Is like Ryan... like thirty year old like white dude like white male actors, I could not tell the difference. If it was like Ryan Reynolds and like Owen Wilson and like but Owen know, Wilson Gaiden. has such a distinctive nose. You... Yes, and a, wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, wow. On. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, here is a trailer for a um, short film called 2030 by Margot Kinney. Um, that in, in, here it is. This is a Yeah. Trailer. That's <laughs> all that, that we have from uh, the three of us. So we love all of our moms. Yeah. Hi, mom. We love all of you. Hi, and please, if you do try to electrocute a pickle, like, send us an email. We would love to see... Yeah. Um, put it up on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tag us. Tag yeah. us. Put a little, put a little like smiley face in the message so that we know it was a good time. If you have a bad time electrocuting a pickle, just, uh, just don't. We don't need to hear. I don't know. About it. No. Yeah. Pickles. The year is 2030. If I could go back in time, even a few years, and ask myself what I thought the world would be like at this point, I would have expected it to be... better. How are you getting to the internet? Does it matter? California is underwater because of carbon emissions. It matters. What are you gonna do for a job now, huh? Just because the world is fucked up doesn't mean I'm gonna stop wanting what I want. 